Uh, I'm not gonna lie. This is where my hot take is. I think as we're seeing this PR season be extra wild, uh, my prediction here is IE is gonna be very on top this season, dude. I think that's what we're seeing. The Bro. rise, the actual rise of the IE. Bro, I figured it out. It's because I'm HIPAA. He ghosted everyone, so everyone like has a confidence to start playing again. Because like, <laughs> I don't want to go and give I'm HIP my money. Look what's happening, bro. Nito came from nowhere. I, I, I remember one time SOH said something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give I'm HIP my money. <laughs> ah, I think we're doing a button check. Yeah. I, f I, I think of I'm HIP. <laughs> <laughs> I think of I'm HIP like Mr. Krabs. Oh, yeah, definitely. With my money. You know? Bro. Anyways, uh, like I said, it's been the rise of the IE lately, and honestly, Nito is one of those players who, like, I actually had a conversation with Suga, Stanley, and Valadin on the way here, and we were all talking about how, like, we think for sure, like, Nito, Luna, uh, Valadin himself, and Tater. And, and Tater, and Nintendo, T3 Dome, these are all, like, six players who are, like... Yeah, I think Dome is, like, on the bottom of that list that, yeah, like, yeah, could yeah. DPR, but you're right, you're, like, he did win that WNF a couple weeks ago, and he still is on the hot come up you know, he did really good at shine apparently too uh, oh yeah he beat a uh, mu days yeah so on ranks, by the way i'm telling you man like i just tell people it's it's uh, the rise of the ie and i don't say the rise of these whack characters bro no. <laughs> <laughs> i mean this mat this character here on the screen is gonna be on the right is ken honestly having played the character against the character myself you have to respect ken in the close range because look at the damage output he already does you look at the damage you don't you really don't know what's safe and what's not safe yeah Hell, you don't even know what buttons are being pressed. You're just kind of getting hit and drawn around, and all of a sudden you get hit by something you have to add DI because you thought it was going to get hit a certain way. That's the one thing, though, that Game of Watch kind of has against Ken is that he has a Jekto Cito. Mm -hmm. The minute he gets caught in a combo, he can just up B, get out of the situation, and yeah. then find himself out back to neutral. So that's kind of one of those papers, like, opportunities to, like, understand yeah. if I get caught in this situation, just get the heck out of here or wait for the combo to end and then react. Yeah, I do think this is one of those matchups that uh, the, the Shotos uh, don't really like because, again, those multi-hits, Ejecto Cito, uh, yeah. And the edge guarding that uh, Game of Watch provides is so good. Look at that. Well, then again, that popped him up. See, if it were if it were like Smash Four Game of Watch, he would have hit him with the credit card. Told him, man, you, you got you got credit card debt now, but unfortunately, he only has the bomb. Mm -hmm. Goes back on stage. Good opportunity to actually do some shield pressure. Drops the bomb and then continues on. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I never knew. Uh, oh. Get him out of there. What? A what are you doing in my space, bro? That's what I'm telling you. Like you. You don't want to stay. I think I try to imagine the Shotos in, in general since kind of like Marth. There's a bubble that they have, especially with you just showing you in, in general. And you kind of want to make sure you're not in that bubble. Mm -hmm. That way you don't get that caught by that close range damage. But it, no, it doesn't matter here. Last days that F Smash still kills. All right, Nito, hot on the chase here. Gets him back on the corner. This is pretty big damage. That was not so gonna much be it. damage. That's what I'm telling you, man. Explosive damage, but you kind of have to respect the spacing. I mean, give no absolute care in the world. He's just going <laughs> to go ahead and go for Chef with that close range. Yeah, there we go. He tries to uh, focus out of the juggle, but Game Watch, again, a lot of access. These up airs and these nair, that's going to be the juggling tool. You think you're going to land against Game Watch? No, bro. Why don't you? You're going to stay there. That was uh, nasty. It's it's something that I see people do sometimes, often, and we kind of saw that happen last week at Dead Network, where he tends to go for um, Chef a couple times in the neutral, and I totally respect it too, because it does work here and there. Mm -hmm. But it, against Ken, when he has enough time to get close to you, the last thing you want is to have Ken close to you and give up so much control, especially if we're going for the last, Chef. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is give him time to do anything. Exactly. That's all uh, Nito's going to be looking for. He's going to be walking up slowly. He's going to be, okay, be patient, go for that little poke right there. Like you mm -hmm. see, walk up slowly, up tilt. And that's one of those things Game Watch has, right? He's able to get away from the combo, gets the up air, stops the focus. So this gives all the opportunity for Nito to come back on stage, take control. But the one thing that all the Shotos do suffer is poor landing, too. Honestly, they only have focus attack. And if you have a multi-hit or mm -hmm. if you're able to read their landing, you can punish them pretty hard. Exactly. That's, a, that's another thing that Game Watch provides so uh, so well. Yeah. Nito out here, actually, like I mentioned earlier, right, the rise of the Inland Empire. He's definitely one of those players who has, one, like we mentioned earlier when we talk about other players, like T3 Dome, he won WNF. Nito has won WNF. He actually won a hat as well. Mm -hmm. Like, Willada has won a six hat. He's 6-0 for that. Man. Yeah, exactly. So, like, so these, all, I'm telling you, the rise of these players here, it's honestly due to the fact that they've been winning majors. Sorry, been winning major locals in this case. Um, been winning major locals, and they've been doing really good against the PR in general. So he's finally getting that kill uh, with the bomb. Unfortunately, Game Watch is already at 65%. You can't be taking any more, uh, any more feedy weedies. <laughs> but the second, you know, the second paper did that hit, but oh, did you die right? Oh. No, he didn't. Oh, no, it didn't matter, bro. He was at 80. <laughs> I feel like no, I feel like he could have survived because I, 
Oh well, yeah, Game and Watch is pretty late. Game and Watch is late. I mean, yeah, you're right. It was on PS2, but at the same time, he, he kind of got hit. That's why you don't gentlemen on PS2. That's such a like. I just tell people you gotta stop gentlemen on PS2. There's so many such a good stage. And, so many and, characters. And, look, look, look. I know, I know you and Shane hang out. <laughs> I know, you guys, I know you guys have a little Smash Fest. But one thing I remember seeing Shine do something nasty on PS2 was with DK. And then I realized I'm never going to PS2 against DK oh. and Snake. If so many gentlemen... DK, play, Snake, Palu. Yeah. As I'm saying, see, I, I, I know your whole crew. You guys are like, PS2? I was like, no. Yeah, bro. No. We live and die for PS2, bro. It's a great stage, though. I love it. I really do love it's it. It's a great stage with, like, you're right, a lot of characters do uh, get a lot off it. And I think because of that, it can be considered neutral because every character gets their jank on it. So it's, like, so jank that it is neutral. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets put on the same level, and hopefully for Paper, he gets to be part of the same level as Nitro because he's down 0 to 1. Nito, honestly, doing a really good job trying to go ahead and get into that shield range. Great damage, though, no poke. Yeah, goes for the jump read with the Nair, but not going to hit. All right, I like it. Goes, once again, I feel like he had a solid distance there for Chef, but unfortunately. That wasn't even like. You need to DI it down and away. That's how you survive that. And I feel like Paper wasn't ready to hold that level of VI yet. Mm -hmm. So that's why he was able to die that early. He did not account for just Nito just taking it out there. That's what happened to him the last spot, dude. Like, he, yeah. just, he just tossed it out and Paper was not ready. Yeah, look at that. Wait, yeah, he just up you so much. And it has, like, not as much lag as you'd expect. You'd, exce you'd expect it like a uh, traditional uh, uh, DP, like another fighting game. Mm -hmm. You do it, it's not safe on hit, you get a full punish. With uh, with Ken, you get the full combo punish until he lands. After that, oh. it's, you gotta do something fast. Mm -hmm. Nice. Lance immediately goes for the up because he knows Nito is going to go for one of those options once again. Whoa. Nice for tilt. Good, good, good poke there. And on the chair. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine, like, if we had, like, announcers, like, here comes Game & Watch with a steel chair. <laughs> it's going to the stage. I promise you, there's probably some uh, commentator in Midwest that says that every time the local Game & Watch have tilt someone. <laughs> Somebody in the, I, I don't want to put a shade on the Midwest, but, yeah, you know, sometimes the Midwest just has characters that are, like, you wouldn't think would be ranked here in SoCal because of our meta. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, I'm not even trying to put shame on I'm just saying, like, that's a mid... That's something you would that's hear from Midwest a Midwest... Yeah, Midwest <laughs> commentator, for sure. Much love to them, and much love to this damage output, but Ooh. that wasn't even true. That was not true, and it's I, all because he got stuck in that side B. Yeah, I think Paper was trying to uh, up B out of it, but mm -hmm. he actually got that judgment, so he, he he got kicked in the face, but that's going to be it. Yeah. Paper keeping it even stocks here against Nito, and honestly, he's living on a prayer because we kind of saw how the last game came out, but hopefully Paper does manage to keep himself spaced away pretty well. Honestly, the one thing I kind of want to see him do is pun uh, whip punish Ken because Ken is the one who kind of has to approach you, even though he does have Fireball. Mm -hmm. See, I like it kind of runs back, and he has a little bit of a drawback with that neutral so he's able to put himself a little bit more away. Gets the up B. Good back air. He's making really good use of his multi hits. Yeah. Like you were saying, uh, it, it's really beneficial for you to uh, force Ken to approach you, but you're not seeing Paper do that a lot. Mm -hmm. He's really just running at a uh, running at Nito, like you said, and it's kind of starting to make him uh, take some damage. It's not been too much because he's mostly been successful in his attempts to go in, but yeah. it's slowly climbing up. It's like three, it's like two two combos, and Ken just finds himself in that range to actually say, "Hate to hate to put it on blast there, but it's even game, right?" Yeah, but he's at 39 percent. You already know what time it is. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, like, keeping that space and that whip punish opportunity here was really good because you knew Nito was going to make that approach. Really good opportunity for him to stuff him out, go for up B. The back air attempt, and I like it too because he uh, usually can like to go for that. Focus. Oh, is that going to be in? If you DI, no, he didn't DI it at all. What did I say, bro? He didn't DI it at all. Paper's furious. Paper's I furious. would be too, but he didn't DI in the down and away. I'm I'm saying like why would you step it, over there it, it, when the when the threat of if I get hit once that's what we you're were gonna have to you're gonna shake my hand yeah <laughs> yeah 